Frieza again. Know that Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan there is, and that he's one of them. And this, by far, one of the coldest lines ever. Hey yo, what's happening people? It's your boy Blaze here, back at you with another one for Venomous Reaction. So today we got a video for Code Name Super, and this one is called Trunks Have One of the Greatest Character Debuts Ever. When you think of Trunks, you think of who the hell is this guy? Because <laughs> let's be honest, nobody knew who Trunks was until you heard his backstory. Like, he's a kid for the future, he's a Super Saiyan. And he's the child of Boma and Vegeta. So, coincidentally, it made sense. Like, Super Saiyan from the future? Okay, that's believable. But, just off rip, no one knew who the hell he was. And he just popped up out of nowhere and gave Frieza the beats. So, so we're going to see what Codename Super is saying about this one. So, without further ado, let's get it. Trunks really had one of the greatest character appearances of all time. Look at how this man pulls up. Fact. Frieza orders his henchmen to go squad wipe the whole earth. But the second they start moving, they get put down instantly by the man mm. of the hour, Trunks. And look at him slowly ease, descending though. down right there. That is what we call him movement. He is simply moving like he's him. Then they show off the boot, mm. the belt, mm. the logo, and the sword. Mm. <laughs> Just of that alone, that's when I knew. Whether you like him or don't like him, there's nothing you can do about him because he's number one. And the first. Oh, that's the facts. <laughs> when he showed up and he just finished off some of. Some of Freeze's force. With ease. And you just instantly know, like, yep, he's that guy that's gonna put Freeza away for good. Since Goku didn't get the job done, somebody had to step in, and ironically, it was Trunks. And we go see. First thing this man tells him is that he's here to end Frieza. Man got straight to business. This man Frieza orders his men yeah, to go Yeah, he was take not care joking around. And we see the most no-name villain to ever appear on screen. Brody's in Dragon Ball with a weapon for Key Blast. We all knew his ass was putting in no pain. Imagine being in the Dragon Ball universe needing a loadout, a class setup, before you go fight. Yo ass should've just stayed on Damn. I'm not gonna lie. And after he does that weak ass attack, Trunks just goes over there and one shots him and makes his head hit the ship. Never stood a chance. Yeah, he and was the rest of them get mad jump. at him for defending himself and now they get cooked. Like, I swear some people realize they're a side character too late and now you're gone. So he just gets done dropping off the side villains. And then he starts talking with, with Freeza. With ease. Let's Freeza know again. that Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan there is. And that he's one of them. And this. By far one of the coldest lines ever. Because Freeza knew. Yeah, we got another Super Saiyan on the miss. Yeah. I, I better end this quickly. And ironically, he got ended. Quickly. <laughs> but yeah, when Trunks said that cold, cold line, like Goku isn't the only Super Saiyan around, he knew he was screwed. <laughs> this man Frieza was shook. You could see it all in his face. He tries to cope by laughing it off. Like yeah, he Goku tried to play that off for nine episodes straight. And Trunks looks at him like, "The fuck is you laughing at?" And starts to transform. And this man Frieza looks up like, "Oh no, hold on." Talking about some. It can't be. That man Goku did a number on him. Oh no. Whole block knew he was transforming. Got Vegeta talking about some. Another scene besides Kakarot. <laughs> I don't know what happened in those two years after Goku beat Frieza, but I know Vegeta was not training. Anyways, this man Trunks hair turned yellow for one second, and this man Frieza literally saw Goku and started walking back. Crazy. Literally got PTSD. I've never seen Frieza like this. And Trunks was like, "Why are you scared?" And Frieza gets mad as hell and throws a key blast at him. Shakes the whole earth and everything. We know it's just getting started, but this man Frieza really thought he took him out with that one. Look at this man's face when he realizes he's still there. Like, you'd even put dust on this man's fit. Like, you cannot be serious. 
why are you so surprised? And then Trunks talking crazy, talking about he about to put him to sleep for good. And he gets mad, throws another one, like that shit's about to work. I'm not gonna lie, Frieza cannot be Epic fail. It's because he's just been stronger than everybody since day one. Bro hasn't had to. And this is what happens, you just start spamming the same move. No tactics, no skill. Over and Bro, over. Frieza, I'm on to you, you getting exposed right now. <laughs> hey, 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 if you made it this far and you enjoy, don't forget to sub. More coming. At Yo, already sub, man. Loving the content, man. And loving the reactions I'm doing to said content. Because, man, this gives me back to a whole bunch of nostalgia. And plus, the commentary makes it better. <laughs> Three uses those two weak ass key blasts. He's like, all right, bet it's time to use my finishing key move. Blast. And he really thought he was about to cuck up with this one. Look at this man's face. He got that. Oh no, nah, he's not ready for this one type face. And then he finally throws. Yeah, he channeled. He to channeled this in the like, cooler. Just look at him. Oh no! Nah. If somebody looks this on phase after you throw an attack, you better run. Finally throws it at him and, gets it. and this man is laughing like he really thought he did it, bro. Starts walking back to the ship. Like he really like, thought he did he something. Walking. Bro really thinks he's him. Thinks he in an edit. Then he stops and turns around like, oh, nah, that shit going back up. This ain't stocks. Why the fuck is it doing that? <laughs> and then you see Trunks with that him movement. Bro was lifting that shit back up with one hand. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw this, I hopped on the bandwagon so fast, faster than a 2015 Warriors fan. Just to switch up to go <laughs> and then back to Goku. I had no shame. I wasn't loyal. Anyways, back to Trunks. This man starts walking with it now. Still holding it with one hand. And then Frieza gets pissed, bro. Throws the key blast at it and makes it explode and starts laughing. Mm -hmm. Like, when is he actually gonna learn? You're not him anymore. You can't just one shot people. He talking about some. He was no match for us. And this man is just standing on some random ass rock and start doing some wild ass hand movement, swiping the air and shit. Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. What the fuck was that? And then he calls out Frieza's name. Frieza is shook, like, oh, nah, he's still alive? Trunks throws that shit. Yep. Frieza Burn dodges it and he's like, yeah, you really thought you could get me with that? And lo and behold, Trunks is right behind him, ready to cut him up. And I don't know if I'm allowed to show that shit on TikTok, so I'ma just use the Kakarot version. Family friendly, look, still cuts him up and still mm. gets him. We get the point. After Trunks turns yeah, we Frieza get it, to bro. straight Pringle dust, this man goes off to face against King Cole. And King Cole is clearly signed to ain't shit records because this man Trunks just <laughs> obliterated Frieza, his own son, right in front of him. And you would think that this man would be raging, mad as hell. But this man asked Trunks to take Frieza's place as his son. And man, King Cole was trying to recruit <laughs> him off rip. But bro, you should know, you ain't got a chance in hell. So I guess that's why he he started to recruit or at least attempt to recruit Trunks because he knew he if he were to go up against him, he was going to get cooked. And lo and behold, he got cooked. And then he starts to blaze, calling him the strongest in the universe and talking about that galaxy is his, bro. Gassing him up. This man is the definition of worse than scum. I know Frieza in hell looking up at this right now. <laughs> Mad as fuck that his father is just two-faced like that, bro. That shit is crazy. Anyways, this man Cole oh, talking about some. Man. man, the only reason he beat my son was because of that damn sword. And here goes Trunks with those him movements. He takes out the sword and then he just tosses it to him. Now King Cole got no excuse when he gets clapped this time. And bro starts hmm. looking at the sword like, oh, no, nah, you messed up giving me this right here. I'm not going to lie to you. He lunges at him. Trunks blocks it one hand. This man gets scared shitless. And this man starts to walk him down. Like, yo, what happened? That's when Cole? he knew he messed up. I thought it was the sword. This made Trunks evil. He said, apparently it wasn't the sword, huh? Stupid ass. Puts a hand to his chest. You already know what's about to happen. Now bro talking yep. about some, wait. Got me looking at the screen like this. Trunks is like, so anyways. Got hits him with that key blast, then he hits the wall like he about to go into the avatar state. Oh no, <laughs> that man is not aim. Now you got Trunks standing there in that pose like someone about to take a photo, but relax. And then you got King Cole talking about some spare me and starts offering up planets. Yeah, he going out sad. And now Trunks still in that pose just ends him. And now he's gone for good. It's kind of crazy that King Cole was too busy glazing Trunks. He forgot to go in his final form. Man. King Cole straight gassed up Trunks to infinity and beyond. <laughs> but man, when Trunks burst onto the scene, man, you knew some shit was about to get real. <laughs> and for someone to finish off Frieza 
in the fashion that Trunks did. It, like, it only took him one episode. One freaking episode to put Frieza away. Where you had a whole saga when people just trying to put Frieza away. First form Frieza, Vegeta tried, didn't work. Second form, Gohan tried, didn't work. Third form, Piccolo, Gohan, and I guess somewhat Vegeta, didn't work. Final form, Vegeta, didn't work. And then enters Goku. Which took like a, which took damn near about 30 episodes just trying to put Frieza down for the count. And lo and behold, we all thought he did when Namek blew up and he, he, he gave him that good old farewell blast. But lo and behold, Frieza escaped. And he got mechanized. And he returned. For vengeance. But then Trunks comes into the picture and start bodying his whole his whole army. And then when it got to Frieza, I mean, he gave him three tries. And on that third one, he went out sad. Cut up into mechanized Sicilian cold cuts. And then got to King Cold. And he wasn't safe either. Yeah, he was gonna join his son in the afterlife. <laughs> oh man, I love it, man. The commentary from Codename Super just made it that much more hilarious. Like Trunks was him. He was he was down to business as usual. He didn't give no fucks. He was there to accomplish the objective. And lo and behold, he did. But yo, let me know what y'all thought about this one. And as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. And don't forget to tell your peoples across the globe. Come kick it with your boys just one good solid time. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss a video from yours truly. You feel me? And please feel free to follow me on social media right over yonder. Now this is your boy Blaze here saying Chuck that this and I will see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.